a journey from the industry to academic. Today, we are here with John Curtin, Distinguished Professor Ian Fow. Hello, Ian. How are you? Hello. Thank you so much for being here. Now, about 20 years ago, you made a statement, something like, I came here by accident in one of your interviews about how you end up in the academy. So I just want to touch and reflect back in terms of, so what is it that is your motivation and what made you move from the industry to academy? I will maintain the claim that I gave before, purely by accident, wasn't planned. Um, look, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to go back, you know, to the, uh, the nitty gritty, of, uh, uh, you know, uh, of that stuff, you know, at that point, uh, I moved into academic because it was just a trial period. All right. Uh, to keep it very, very short, uh, you know, I've been in the industry for a long period of time, you know, then I took a, a, a break and, uh, I was helping, you know, someone, you know, to sort of, uh, build, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the new department of the new school, you know, at that point. Uh, trying to bring the industry uh, into you know academic and and um, and literally you know after six months you know after two years then I forgot to to, to get back into the industry so to speak so yeah. it's very much you know that now uh, what uh, motivate me or, or or what make me made me continue you know with that with that uh, uh, role in academic is the is that um, I would say that. It, it works well in that at that period of time, all right. Uh, and and I guess you know all the uh, uh, you know the uh, the environment you know so to speak that where I was working at that period of time uh, sort of allowed me you know to do something different, all right. In a sense that while I said that uh, I join academia, you know, at that, that period of time. It's actually not 20 years, it's 24, all right, because, because I'm looking for my 25 years, uh, you know, anniversary for next year. Um, my, thing, my point, you know, is that I literally have not left the industry, so to speak. So while I, I'm in the, in, the, in the academic sphere, uh, but I do, I, do I, I did kept my links with the industry, and uh, I guess, you know, in, in a way is that because you have that political network, you just roll on to one, to another, to another. And uh, what really sparked me is that I was able to, you know, to pick up, you know, the bright minds of young uh, students, you know, so to speak, and then, you know, uh, give them an opportunity to work, uh, you know, with them, with the industry while they are in the, in the university. Uh, and that is something, you know, that I feel uh, very um, happy about myself, you know, that I'm able, you know, to build, you know, that particular link. Um, and that is whereby, uh, interestingly, you know, uh, I, I, I recently uh, am working, you know, with uh, Michael Bat, another one of my uh, uh, young, my, my um, I would say that my PhD student before, but now, now, uh, now he's my boss, goes to the street, all right, uh, you know, uh, in, in, as the director, you know, of, uh, of TNL, uh, and we were, we were, we have a passion project, you know, that is to build, you know, on a new unit, uh, which is again industry based, right? So interestingly, for this brand new unit that we are creating, uh, we do not have teaching materials. I mean, sorry, we do not have textbooks, you know, and things like that. Uh, we created our own teaching materials, and we did interviews, something you know like this. But then it is um, it is very curated, you know, to build uh, into that particular unit. And out of the uh, forty odd interviews that we have, all right, at least half of them are alumni of our of our, of our university. And this is where, by the reflection, you know, of it, is that well, we we actually did something great, you know, over these twenty years. Um, and I guess you know the 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 um, the how, how we get how we got here is whereby we have never given up you know on our young minds and also to build a path you know for them to go uh, into uh, the industry and then now is the is a point whereby they can come back you know and uh, and tell you know our next generation you know of how best you know they can create uh, you know their career yes so uh, very much you know uh, that will be 
I, I, I like to think, you know, that that will be something that, um, um, you know, on my, uh, when I retire, is something that I can actually uh, brag a little bit about. Yes, that, that's that's very good that you, you and your team have been doing in terms of, you know, continuing relationship and work, collaboration between the academic and the industry and a lot of your PhD candidate used, you know, used to be. Now it's like, you know, work in industry and, and so on. You have touched a lot about, you know, how you bring value from the industry to academic and, and, and so forth as well. Now for uh, just some tips for some people who want to build some collaboration with the industry, what would be some of those tips? I think it's the other way around. I think that we we, we have to be a little bit open-minded, all right? In a sense, you know, that we all, uh, I mean, you, you hear this all the time, you know, that, uh, you know, our colleagues, you know, uh, younger colleagues will basically say that, oh, you know, I do not have a foot into the, in the uh, into, uh, you know, in industry engagement, you know, we, we, uh, uh, we don't know who to go to, you know, and things like that, you know, it's actually the other way around. Industry always want to, want to, uh, you know, work uh, with, um, uh, with the uh, with with uh, the university, all right. Uh, for many reasons, all right. Uh, uh, one of them, all right. I mean, I recently, you know, uh, have have one, uh, you know, in Singapore, uh, and uh, and I asked the reason why, you know, wh why all the way to Curtin. They are in Singapore, all right. There's no need, you know, to come to Australia, you know, for that. The reason is because um, sometimes, all right, in a way, uh, when they have got a um, the, the, the way that you know the, the, the industry feels is that that for certain universities, not all, all right, uh, in that they are way ahead, you know, of uh, what uh, the latest uh, developments, you know, for instance, you know, in the uh, uh, in the uh, you know in in the IT, you know, kind of uh, uh, department, uh, they feel, you know, that probably, you know, from a university point of view, they have got better knowledge, you know, of uh, what is going to happen in the next three to five years, you know, in terms of uh, your AI, you know, a, uh, you know, a, those, you know, uh, 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 instances, uh, and they can actually have a head start, uh, you know, in building, you know, their, their their programs, you know, or their products, you know, in a uh, in the next few years. And on top of that, all right, they also believe that working with a university, uh, in a way, can authenticate their products to say that, or it could be seen as an independent study. You know that say, oh, it, it wasn't you know done by a, a an agency. You know whereby they are paid to say nice things, all right. But then from you, it is an independent scientific piece, you know, of work. So I guess all right, the thing uh, that we can do is that instead of saying that we can't find you know the, uh, industry partners for that, the university or your department, you know, or your faculty, whatever, whichever it is, there must be. A, a sort of a, a, a you know a, a a person to go to you know that say oh I'm the industry engagement uh, you know person you know from uh, from this university ABC you know and uh, had this you know been uh, broadcast you know out to everyone else uh, out there but the EJ can come you know to you you know and talk to you you know about it of course the initial stages right you was probably have a start somewhere uh, and it's through the network you know one will just propel to another. And so on, and and um, and I guess right, we should be learning, you know, from uh, many of the universities in the uh, in the in the U.S. and in Europe, Europe in particular, uh, the the engagement, you know, in the industry, the university, they are very very strong. They have a lot of strong links, you know, from that. And for bigger organizations, they love, you know, to come to the university, you know, oh, I, I will support you, you know, on this particular project. Uh, you know, or a campaign that you have, you know, they would like to be a client, you know, for a, a student, a, pro, a, a, a unit, you know, of some, of some kind. But what really they want to do is to recruit. They are actually doing recruitment, all right? I can, I can safely say that I ended up losing, you know, a few very strong students in the third year uh, that they have gone into the industry without even completing that because they were, they, they were given a, a very good deal. And I have got to, uh, you know, sort of uh, counsel, you know, them that even if you do it part time, they still should complete because they still a passport, you know, to finish your 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 first degree. So um, I, I think I think it's a misnomer, you know, to say that that uh, universities, uh, you know, have difficulty getting industry uh, support. I think it's the other way around. Yes. You, you just have got to build. You just have got to find 
uh, you know, ways in which, or, or, or you should build, you know, a system, a facility, you know, of some kind, whereby the industry know who to talk to or who to go to. Mm, yes, that is a very good suggestion and uh, the observation that you share with us. Now, one last question. If you'd be able to go back to when you first started your career, which is 24 years ago, and now you're a distinguished professor, what will be the one suggestion you would like to sell to tell your younger self? I won't change anything because <laughs> I don't know. I I um I continue, you know, to um to okay, challenge myself is a very, very strong word, all right. Uh, but I just go with the times seriously, you know. Um, you know, I I I get very um um bored, you know, if you know I go have something new. So the the this part, you know, about uh, for instance, all right, I mean I I worked for luxury industry, you know, for a good 15 years before I went, or 10 to 15 years before I went uh, into academia. And and one of the reasons why I left, uh, you know, for that, one is because of family commitments. Uh, the other one was purely because I feel that I'm doing the same old thing over and over and over again. And there's one time whereby, whereby you feel, you know, that your creative juices are gone. You know, there's nothing else, you know, to build on, you know, and things like that. Uh, and that my industry is very much, uh, is a very close knit industry. So wherever you go, you seem to be doing the same old thing, you know, and so on and so forth. So for me, going into, um, you know, this, uh, to, to academia is something uh new you know for me at that period you know of time but then um, this role or maybe i created many roles for myself during this this past you know 20 years uh and uh i continue you know to to uh once again i want to say i i, I cannot say the, the words uh, challenge myself but to keep me safe you know that oh, i can try this thing i can do that i can uh you know i can come out you know with something else and so on and every two to three years, all right, I may be working on another project or an, uh, with a support from another industry. Uh, there, you know, that as you know, you know, that we, we always have got, um, um, you know, in the last 20 years, if you can see, all right, you know, that uh, we all have the different priorities. The, once upon a time, we are all talking about sustainability issues, you know, and so on and so forth. And now probably we're going to the AI, uh, you know, way and things like that. And I guess that this role uh, or this job all right, allows me to, to uh, devil, you know, on these little, little things, you know, here and there. And then uh, I get, you know, the um, uh, uh, even, you know, now, I mean, look, you know, even now that I am, I am bringing a lot of industry uh, uh, engagements, you know, to, to my job, you know, so to speak. Um, it, I mean, we all know that my, my area is in luxury, all right? But it doesn't mean, you know, that we only do work in luxury and we can make a lot of things uh, non-luxury, long, um, non-luxurious luxury you know as well if you if it can be because i think that uh i i one thing you know that i still feel that i've not done you know properly and hopefully i can do this well you know in the next few years is that uh i think we need to define uh luxury uh uh in a way whereby everyone can see the other side you know of it L luxury doesn't necessarily mean that you're talking about high price product and things like that i guess Today, all right, uh, luxury, you know, we'll be looking at things like well-being, you know, things like your healthy life, you know. Uh, we talk about time. Uh, time is never a luxury for all of us. You and I, for, for instance, all right, we, we, we find time, you know, a, a problem, uh, you know, because we want to do so many things, all right. So, so I guess, all right, this is um, um, that this job or, or my current role, all right, or, or my, my current role in the university all right, allows me, you know, to continually um, uh, do things that I'm passionate, you know, about at that point, you know, in time. So going back, I think, is that it to change? No, not really, but I'm, I guess I'm one of the lucky few, all right? Uh, are there challenges in between? Are there times, you know, whereby I'm, are there, I'm thinking, oh, you know what, this is time to quit, you know, this this job is just too, um, you know, too, um, uh, too much, you know, or that it is too disappointing because you do, but then, so 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 is so is it with everything else, all right? So doesn't mean that you go to another institution, you will not face you know the same uh, you know problem. Is I, I guess it's how you deal with it. Mm, yes, thank you so I, much I for think, the. I think I have not answered your question, yes. right? But... I think it is is answered by itself very well, and I can confirm that 
you know, you have done a lot of things. You are editor in chief of a journals, combine the journals, bring it to an A rank journals, and also organize a lot of conferences and, and all that. So thank you so much for your time today. And this is a journey from the industry to academic with John Curtin, distinguished professor Ian Fowl. Thank you so much once again, Ian, for your thank time. Thank you. Thank you.